Remember this video of the Cybertruck crash test that Tesla released on April 1st, where the impact was imminent at any second and you're on the edge of your seat the entire time waiting for it to happen, but it never actually happens? Well, we finally got to see those results during the Cybertruck delivery event, and I must admit, it looks absolutely horrifying, but probably not for the reasons you're thinking. I mean, the truck was only going 35 miles an hour during this test, and look how much force is being inflicted on the passengers. So much force, in fact, that even the rear axle appears to snap in half. That can't be normal, right? The internet experts will tell you that the reason for this is that the stainless steel body is so strong that it can't crumple properly in an impact, which in turn directs those forces directly onto the occupants inside. Here's a video one of the experts made comparing it to other trucks which he says have actual crumple zones. This video got 5.5 million views and basically universal agreement in the comments that the Cybertruck is terribly designed and unsafe in every way possible. But what if I were to tell you, and I know this is going to sound completely crazy, these experts may not be experts at all or even have any clue at all what they're talking about. Harrison video was put together using completely different crash tests. The Cybertruck's the only one here doing a full frontal crash, where the others are doing what's called the front overlap, where only about a third of the front hits the barrier, which is much easier to dissipate energy. Here's a more fair comparison, showing it against one of the highest safety rated trucks you can buy, the F-150 specifically the all-electric lightning. Now, please do tell me if I'm missing something here, but I am not seeing a big difference in the crumple zone between these two. Where you will start to notice a bigger difference, though, is in the side impact tests. This is a 3,100 pound car going nearly 40 miles an hour that simulates a T-bone accident, like someone running a red light in an intersection. And not only does the Cybertruck stay completely grounded because of the super low center of gravity and its weight, but besides the airbags going off, it looks like it may be able to just drive away. And here's that same test on the F-150. Which one of these would you rather be in?